the trend that I wanted to talk about at the end of the semester kind of started percolating when I went to the um, New England Archivist Conference about halfway through the semester and it was a, uh, a great way to to sort of get a, a smattering of of how archives was was uh, working in, in today's world and um, naturally I've always had a a fascination and obsession with with filmmaking so the the table that I remember um, I immediately went to at the vendor at the vendor room had to do with had to do with film and I got a bunch of and I got a bunch of of materials about how to preserve preserve film how to transfer film um, I've always collected film books magazines journals um, memorabilia posters on on filmmaking um, but I think the way it kind of started for me was um, I remember having a a um, a book in my in my ba in my basement and it got covered in be bleach and it was a film book and I remember I remember being being fascinated by how how um, the chemical process changed the paper and um, and I think from there on I was always very conscious of 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 the form that a that a book or any kind of information takes and that that's why I sort of um, always always collected VHS even when there wasn't a need to have VHS anymore just the just the um, the lo-fi quality always always was something that I that I loved and then I even once 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 I was able to amass even like even more antiquated formats like um, 35 millimeter um, or or 16 millimeter like educational films um, they became things I would collect just as just the just as as sort of a way to to think about um, why we why we preserve things why we preserve history and then there's also the 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 element that I hope my in my in my future career um, it's the materials itself because there are some things that like there's a there's a huge um, vinegar odor to some of some films that are so old because it was a chemical process before we entered the digital age and everything was was analog and um, the fact that some of these some films can actually be be dangerous that there's an element of danger if we don't take care of them properly that's always that's always an interesting thing because there's some kind of safety net and now that we have digitized things but um one of the things the semester I've all I've been thinking about a lot has just been kind of like the politics of of preservation too and how the world today kind of inter intermingles with with the past you know forms of preserving things and I'm really interested in how the you know the past the present and the future kind of are are, are combining and um, I'm hoping that that will be a uh, a good a good thing to do to to study to find to find the tools to be able to apply these these ideas um, after the after my time at Simmons um, 
hopefully going to an NYU or a RIT where I can actually be able to to um to apply you know the the history of film that I have already with the actual um know-how to actually um think about what films should be preserved and make those critical evaluations and um so that other generations will be able to appreciate it too.